Hi, welcome. We are going to make a clone of this little template and I'm going to install Vicios. Oh my God. Let's take a look at again at the download. Vicios. Okay. So Vicios Linux. It's a spin-off from Arca Linux like Bobos and uh, Brad has. So we have three official um, spin-offs and we're going to try it out. So this has never been tried out by me before. So let's have a look. We're booting up. The idea in Arca Linux is learn and you start at the beginning figuring out what's XFC, what's Openbox, i3 things, Arclinux D, some scripting there, Arclinux B, building, and then learning more about Carly and all that, more information, and then you get a result like this. You can have, if you can build this too, not tomorrow maybe, not next month maybe, but maybe next year. So there is a lot of uh, road ahead and there's a lot of years of, of time investment because there's lots of information and knowledge in there. So see it as going to the university and going to learn more and more every single step. As a developer myself, I'm gonna look at the versions. Uh, 3.2.18 is the same as we have as Arch Linux 20.3. In April we'll have version 20 or maybe 21. We'll see what will be released. And um, we're all working with the same developer to the same github.com slash calamars so that's where we are getting um, this this application from it's not from us and if you want to improve it if you have issues with the calamares installer make an account on github tell them tell them technically what is going on what's wrong so all these things are, are beautiful right it's an awesome design nice conky and then we're off, right? This is probably blank, right mouse click. So I take my, I look at my keyboard, I take my left control, I press it in, right mouse click, and then we see what it's all about, you see? And it is indeed blank. Let's have a look with the preferences. And all our themes from Arch Linux are here. Okay, so at the bottom, you wanna have it to the right, to the left, maybe to the left. That's fine too, it's all good. It's all choices in Linux. Choice to do this, the choice to do that. That's a nice little slider up there. Let's just click, I think. No, I just click, but maybe with the sound, maybe I can dial it up. Anyway, let's get installing uh, some software maybe first. Tunar, OS, Codes, yeah. DB Movie, Clementine, WhatsApp, Telegram, Discord, UbiTorrent, USVT and the installer. Nice icon for an installer. Next, we choose whatever we want in this particular choice here, right? If there is something you, do, you want more, but don't need this since this is already installed. You don't uh, need Telegram because it's already installed. So that's a question from today as well. What if the, there is a package list. When we build an ISO, there's a package list. What's on the package list will always be installed, right? So if you don't select Discord or don't select Telegram and it's here already, so it's on the package list, it will be installed. You cannot say, I do not want it. There, Calamar is not built for that. This net, this net module is add more, add more, add more. This is only pseudo packman minus S, install. So whatever you select here will be a surplus added as well. So for instance, I don't see Vivaldi. I could say I'm going to install Vivaldi. Ctrl Alt V, let's have a check. Okay, so that's our keyboard shortcut for Vivaldi. It's not installed. I say install it, so it will be installed. That's the idea. Belgian, next, erase disk, no swap, fine, next. You can encrypt in this version. Yeah, okay. 
Whoa. Like this. And while it's installing, we can have a look around some more. So we have here open a new window, create folders, applications are here, settings are here, logout. So this looks to me that it's XFCE. I can click here. So all kinds of desktops are up here. Right mouse click doesn't do anything. What was that? Okay, click here and then you get the menu. So this is our XFCE menu. And we go for, for instance, this one. Let's see if there's something more in here. The Grub customizer is here, fix hardcoded is here, quick system info is here. All good stuff is here. All right, so if we want maybe appearance, maybe something people would like to see, it's the Mac OS CT Lina. So if you like this uh, theme, then you just go uh, look on the EA. Let's try it ourselves. Control Alt T. Nice logo, but it's not a logo from Arch Linux, and I think it's going to be dangerous to keep this logo because it actually looks a little bit like Arch Labs. So I don't think they would like that. Yay, and an MCOS. Let's see if it comes out. Yep, I think uh, not this one, no, this maybe. It's, it will be necessary, necessary to look a bit further somewhere on the internet, because I don't think that's gonna be the same. Okay. And then icons, it's Tala and Tala Blue. Tala Blue Dark. We can actually admire the, uh, still working. We can admire the icons like this in file system, in user, in share, in applications. Here you have a quite a nice overview of all the elements a lot of Krita things, so Krita is installed, definitely. Um, probably plugins or something like it. And here we have all the icons. This either you like or you don't like. Okay, so it's a choice. And this as well, these nice buttons here do remind us of a Mac computer. Filling up file systems, which is great. Go ahead. Nothing happens when I click here. This here, something happens. So the volume control. Pulse audio, volume control, PAVU control. One update, he says, look at that. Nice, we click on it and it's already working. Oops. I seem to have lost where I have, or maybe it's just hidden then. It hides maybe afterwards, yeah, it is, um, removed after installation okay always left click and right click on these things you never know and this one is going to stop ah my mistake we'll see probably need to do everything again but then i'll pause for you guys that happens on new systems and what's this click well, there was no choice to exit. Damn. <laughs> Let's go over it once more and then pause the video until everything is done. Now we'll see if it will install immediately or if we get an error because of our broken system maybe it will give us calamaris then an error and we're in the clear so when it says filling up file system then you can relax then everything is okay we'll just have to wait so i'll pause the video here i have uh, done enough harm and <laughs> wait for the installation all right, so 
we are at the end and we are going to reboot and have a look at the final result on our SSD slash virtual box system. So it's a nice little grub. So images can be changed. There are millions of images. Try one that you like and there it is. The Adclinix Tweak tool has that. So we are now on a beautiful Arch Linux based system. This is it, right? It's an Arch Linux system. And with a update, we do our updates. And the Arch Linux repos are already in here. So that's cool. <laughs> so I don't need to add them with the Arch Linux spices because that's a new application we have created. If we are on Arch Linux systems that have nothing to do with Arco Linux, then we put the spices, the Arch Linux spices from uh, this website, arclinuxinfo.com. In the packages, you'll find a tool to get stuff from Arch Linux on an Arch based system. Quick check, check, quick view here, download apps. Here it is. And if you want to see it, here it is. And in the meantime, I've added the code how to install this. So download, go to the download folder, sudo pacman minus u, and then the name that's provided and the version that it has. And we get our packages in, but it is not necessary on this one. It's not necessary. We have everything here. We are um, looking at the repos of Arclinix. So control alt E, let's have a look. It is not working. So sudo pacman minus s we are working constantly it seems <laughs> round the clock red and i for the articleix tweak tool git so let's install that and i see here's something else so we have the mirror okay fine that's what i need and then control alt e is not working since it is uh, does not have that keyboard shortcut but just tweak tool right and we have our tweet tool. Now I haven't looked at our login, how many uh, desktops there are on this system, maybe just one, just XFCE, but it's a quick check and it's always interesting to learn this particular trick, user share X sessions. There is just one, right? XF session. And maybe it's interesting to show you as well, if I want to install awesome, then it's now almost in installed there you are awesome bsp wm will be installed in two three four an error has occurred so the desktop is not installed we need to figure that one out and then what else i3 install see that that works if there are conflicts he'll tell you and say mm -mm, no go and then we have to analyze q tile often it's a conflict of packages but that's up to you. So there is no support for any of our spin-offs. We promote them and we applaud it and we find it, find it important that you do it. Another error here. But it's it's beyond the realm of Arclinix. It's, it's okay, we'll help each other. And uh, if we can, if we want, um, we can add your repo to our um, Arclinix tweak tool. So it's easy as click and Brad's applications, tweaks, and configs are all now included. You can install them. The same goes for Bobble's repo and the same could go for uh, <coughs> Vicious Linux. It's just, we need to talk about that because there are some rules we need to take in, in uh, consideration so that we don't get conflicts for our users. But basically it's as simple as that. And we have different, um, this was, was I able to log out? I don't think so. I'm afraid to do this again, but I do need to log out, but maybe I can do it here. <laughs> That's maybe smarter to log out here. What button is that again? Is that log out? Yeah, okay, log out. Because we want to have a look at the rest. So Qtile is here. Thanks to our tweak tool, we have that as well. Variety kicks in. I always say fine, thank you very much, Variety. And let's have a look at some wallpapers. 
the same wallpapers I think the, there are some differences this one let's take some one uh, wallpaper we don't know ah nice one super C conky is gone it works so control T uh, oh, that's not working control T mm. super T super T is working so I guess sudo pacman minus s termite that's the wrong password I think yep okay that's true I first need to update now he knows what's in there and then we install termite control T is now working so termite was not installed I do like the font really like the font and it is we can find it out somewhere but not here it's not edit so I go to control alt e that's working I got my tweak tool I go to neofetch I look for font font show terminal font apply control alt e and as font we have uh, not seeing it here one of space nine that's the normal most normal font there is and it looks just awesome all right you can do much 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 more and it's all in a day's play i guess it's a trial and error as well but do not come and ask all the questions that going are going wrong try to figure it out ask the developers the three developers where we have now spin-offs from and see if they can help you with it all right I'm glad this is going this way I mean um, I'm um, it's one of the goals of Article Linux to share the knowledge to even be able to make your own distro and this is a spin-off which is mm, still it's a, it's a it's okay it's a distro but it's um, still based very much on Article Linux and with Carly we to try to go a little bit further than that so there there was a question uh, in the past what's the difference right Article Linux B is using our our um, way of building the ISO changing packages having a repo but Carly is coming from zero till from A till Z and in Article Linux B you, you kind of jump in from K right and K and then maybe till the end till Z so it's that's a little bit the difference to put it uh, simply all right I've enjoyed this new spin-off and uh, take a look at it the reference is on articlenixforum.com there you find information I'll ask the developer to leave you some notes there and um, I'm out cheers <laughs>